Hey YouTube, this is Felicia with Bible Scraps, and I got one question for you all. And that question is, do you remember this tool? This goes way back. Do you guys remember the Karen Foster eyelet setter? So I did a little bit of research on it, and it's actually called a name I totally don't remember. It's called the Click It Multi-Purpose Spring Action Tool. Successful. Don't mind my laptop, but do you guys remember this tool? For some reason, I remember HSN having this tool. I think I got it from HSN. And though my memory is sketchy, I think in the presentation, I first heard the word asparatus, or perhaps that could have been a tool by We Are Memory Keeper way back, <laughs> because I believe this tool was manufactured in about 2006, 2007. There's not a lot of information online. I could not find any videos none whatsoever detailing this particular tool. Now, I know Karen Foster, she came out with the Scrapparatus. It's a pink eyelet setter, and I don't have that. And I'm looking online right now, and I also see that Scrapparatus in a mint color. I'm not too sure what years those came out, but... I still have this, of course, and I always look at it. I keep it in a top drawer in my craft room with the intentions of pulling this out to rediscover what it is and how to use it. All right, if you're new to scrapping, you've probably never seen anything like this because this particular tool um, was before the crocodile. The crocodile is popular today with punching holes and setting eyelets. By the way, do you guys know what an eyelet is? We as crafters, we don't use these today. I have a boatload of grommets and eyelets in different sizes. Eyelets are so cool. Oh my goodness, it's been a long time since I've played with my eyelets. But they're little bitty circular metal pieces uh Oh, that you can use on cards, on basically anything. You can punch holes through leather, different materials, and set the eyelets. And that is what this tool is, is for. There are several different sizes of holes. And then you got a twin hole. And then you have three, three other tools. And I played with this last night. So I do know one is, is used to set the eyelets. But the other two, I'm not too sure. And then there's three things here. I dropped the pin. It's on my floor somewhere. I have to find that. But I'm not too sure what this what this is for because once again, I can't find any tutorials. Oh, you know what? I think I know what that's for. Because if you have this tool, you probably have her metal alphabet set, which I know I had it. I probably donated it but you could also emboss on metal. So some of these attachments are used to emboss on metal. All right, I don't have my mat. I don't have the instructions. <laughs> the only thing I have is the little bit of information I found online from a website that talks about, it's a store that talks about this item and what I remember. Okay, let's go ahead, you guys, and rediscover the cool thing I remember set. about using these versus using a hammer. Because back in the year, I think the way we set eyelids was to use a hammer. <laughs> As a matter of fact, you know what? Oh, I won't share that. But anyway, um, these were a lot 
more quieter. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this hole. This is the second one to the smallest and you just put the attachment in like that. Now, okay, let's just do it. You guys keep in mind, I only played with this briefly last night and outside of last night, I probably haven't used this for years. I think once again, it came out in 2007, six. This is a legacy item in the crafting world. Okay, I'm using a mat from Sizzix and then I also have this flexible mat. Once again, I don't have the original mat and your mat will determine how, how easy it is to punch holes and to set eyelids. So here's a little tag, and I'm sitting down, by the way, going to punch a hole. Press down, and you do hear it. That's not really silent, huh? <laughs> but it's better than through rather easy. Okay, now let's grab an eyelet, and I have a boatload of eyelets. Uh-oh, darn it. Okay, I wasted a lot. I was going to... Do you guys remember this? I think this came from Tuesday morning years ago. <laughs> well, the content of that one just spilled everywhere. I have some eyelids. You know, let me do this. Felicia, take your time. I'm trying to slow down. Here are some eyelids. I don't know if, if you can buy eyelids today. You can on eBay but I don't know if it's a thing like to, I don't know if current companies are making eyelets. Okay, you know, let's use one of these. I think these are the same size. Let's use a black one. See if it'll fit. If it don't fit, I can use another, a larger, uh-oh, a larger hole. And I'm going to stick it in just like that. You see how it protrudes out, and that's how the front looks. Okay, to set this eyelid, you turn it over like that. I have to remove the tip, and I think I, okay, now I forgot. <laughs> I think I used this tip to set the eyelid. Set the eyelid means the eyelid will flatten and it'll be permanently inside of the tag. Okay, so this tip I'm going to place into the eyelet and just press. You know what? It's rather easy. Uh-oh, that didn't do it. Okay, this is the wrong tip. <laughs> you can see it did not flatten the eyelet. What I was saying was it's rather easy to... To punch this I'm surprised I it took me so long the cool thing about this versus using the crocodile though you can buy the large I forget what it's called um I and I find that, that tool I forget what it's called it's by we are memory keepers but you can punch and set eyelets anywhere on the page however that's heavy it's very industrial Using this, you could use it anywhere. You can have any size because with that other tool, I think it only works with up to 12 by 12 inches. Well, this is so much easier. Okay, let's see if this tip works. Nope. Okay, wait a minute. Felicia, what tool did you use? Okay, let's do it again. It did start to curl a little bit. I, okay, I did this one. That's not the one. Okay, you guys, I'm everywhere. Don't blame me. It's been years since I've used this tool. Okay, that didn't flatten. Let me come over here and see. Nope, okay, this is not the right tool. What tool did I use? I used one of these. It wasn't this thing. That don't even fit. Okay, let's go back to this one. I did it last night and it was so easy. Let's do it again. 
it's not setting. Okay, let me take my time. Felicia, what did you use to set that? Because once again, I did it last night. And where's the tag? This is not the tag. You guys, I'm just everywhere. See, that's what happens when you use or when you haven't used your tool in so long, you forget. But it was just last night. I promise you it set. It did a beautiful. Okay, let's try this one. This tip here. Perhaps that's it. Oh, wow. This is crazy. Okay, let's come back over here. Nope, that's not the one either. You can see how I it did scratching my head because, I kid you not, I did this last night. I set this one last night, and this is the back. Do you see how it's flattened? But the front part still looks good. And it just dawned on me what it could be. <laughs> All right. This is another brand eyelet. Because I didn't use this eyelet last night. I used the one, one of the ones that came with this tool. I am going to leave this eyelet in. Though it's not 100% set, I think it's in there good enough as to not fall out. So if you have a problem with it going all the way through, just take a needle and clean out your tip. I think this is it, you guys, because I told myself I don't want, I don't want to remember this tool. <laughs> That's probably why it's been years since I've used it. And I believe I used the fat, this tip here that has a dome. All right, let's see if this works, you guys. I think, I think, I think. Press down. Nope. Still didn't work. Okay, did I use that mat? Oh, you know what? Okay, we will do it again. But it could be that I use the softer mat on top. Because that does make a difference. But it did not take... It took just one punch. I kid you not. It's not, this is not totally set because it's supposed to be flat like right, So I worked that. with this off camera and I cannot set an eyelet. I did it last night, but I think that may have been just by happenstance that it worked. If this tool did come with a mat, I don't have it. That could be the reason why it's not setting or it could be this tool just don't do a good job now, setting the punching island. mechanism. These tips, they do work well. Okay, but it didn't. <laughs> All right, so I hadn't tested out this tip. And look, now it's not. All right, Felicia. It's not me. It's the tool. Okay, no. It depends on which tip you try because the big hole don't want to work. The small, the one I used in the video works. Okay, let's use the one next to the biggest hole. Nope, nope. Okay, let's put the flexible mat. Oh, okay. That's better. That's better, but it's still not a clean punch. Um, let's use the third one. All right, you guys. I think I want to forget about this tool. <laughs> I think I want to forget about it. I do like that it is easy to press this down, but it's just not reliable. Okay. I give up. <laughs> if you guys have this tool, do you use it? If you can find a tutorial, please link it in a comment below. Do you remember this? Is this worth remembering? Mm, all the money we spent, right, on different crafty supplies that we didn't use or rarely used, Okay, I will keep this. I've had it this long, so 
Why give it up now? But anyway, share your experiences below. By the way, you guys, this is a series that I'm doing for this year, and it's called Do You Remember This? Like many of you, I have been crafting and collecting for a very long time. And I look around my craft room, I go in my garage, and I always see things from back in the year. Well, it's time to rediscover those things to see if they're worth remembering. Okay, like you guys and do leave your experiences below if you have this tool. Okay, I want to thank you all for watching. As always, blessings.